Ah, pity. Ah, an art critic. Pity and a shame they wouldn't put as much paint on the old tub as you've got in that paper. Canvas. Oh, it's a good likeness, though. Well, thank you. I think it's a rather handsome old tub. Are you sure we're looking at the same ship? You know, I like the name. The Island Chief. Now, why would you want to preserve that old scowl on canvas? Well, a lion or ugly carcass any self-respected naval architect would confess to. Well, maybe not beautiful, but... Well, I wasn't thinking about beauty exactly, but just look at her as a ship. Built by the mile and cut off for the yard. Her engines clank around left-handed, you know that? She's been patched in every hole and corner yard from Frisco to Hong Kong. Held together with junk from the scrap heap to the seven seas. Well, at least you know her faults. You can steer clear of her. Oh, that I can. I'm a first mate. And I should have my head examined. Oh, uh, Mr. Brenner. Well, now, how are we going to make it? We'll make it, sir. And providing those boilers are hold steam and the engines ain't too rusty to turn. Mr. Brenner, please. I'll worry about the works. I'll be surprised if you can squeeze one more trip out of those concrete mixers, MacDonald. Mr. Brenner. As I said, I'll worry about the works. And you'll have no need to come spying or peeking past the engine room door. Well, I'm depending on you, MacDonald. When I get trouble, it'll be my own trouble. You'll just have to sit by till I fix it. I'll be left alone to my own department, Captain Sims. Oh, yes, yes, yes. And I'll not have my engine room helpers chitter chattering with the rest of the ship. You'll be having all the trouble you can handle on deck, I'm thinking. The likes of that Blackie Miller on board. You speaking to me, McDonald? I was speaking of you. All right, that's enough. Get on with you. Troublemaker. He's right, you know, Skipper, about Blackie. Why do you sign on a crew that you can't handle? I didn't say I couldn't handle him. You can't pick and choose when you're signing a crew for this kind of a tub and this kind of a crew. Mr. Brenner, please. But you know our shortcomings as well as I do. Six weeks down to the islands and no shore leave. They've got to be hard up for a berth with a law on their tails before they'll take that. Mr. Brenner, will you please be kind enough to curb your attitude and your language somewhat before the passengers? Passengers? Are you telling me we've got passengers, sir? Good morning. Is it too early to come aboard, Captain? Oh, no, 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 of course not. Your quarters are all ready for you. You want to have your head examined. Mr. Brenner. Oh, this is Mr. Brenner, my first mate. Miss Fenley and Mr. Fenley. Yes, we've met. Mr. Brenner was kind enough to uh, criticize a painting. No, my first mate is kind enough to criticize everything. And generally does. Feel free to speak your mind at any time. Well, uh... What were you thinking of to bring your daughter on a rotten old copra tramp like this one? I'm afraid it was my daughter who brought me. Why? A pleasure cruise? On this? With your help, Mr. Brenner, it won't be a pleasure. I have all I can do to keep this tub moving. Sometimes Mr. Brenner takes a bit of understanding. But I don't know what I'd do without him. This way, please. 